Hi, Reverend Nina Rowe, founder of AngelsTeach.com, and welcome to Angels Teach TV and an episode of Messages from Your Angels for the week of August 2nd through 8th. Last week we looked at awakening and allowing the space for that creative spark and then waiting patiently for our angels to bring us what we have created in that place of love and compassion. This week's message is from the Archangels, I'm oh, sorry, pardon me, Angels, Gods, and Goddesses cards by Tony Carmen Salerno. And I'm going to choose the cards a little differently this week. My angels were guiding me as I was praying before this video that they want me to use my clairvoyant sense this week to choose the cards. So in doing that, I'm going to actually fan the cards on the table here. I'm not sure if you can see that in the video, but it's just basically spreading them out. And then I'm going to visually look for the card that feels right to me. And they all look the same because I'm looking at the back of the card, but I will know because there will be almost a glow around the card that's right. And it will usually be easy to find. It's not going to be one that's hidden. So the first card is the Goddess of the Sacred Path. Interesting. The second card is the top card. And that is the Goddess of Beauty. And the third card is the Angel of Psychic Ability. Very colorful spread when I look at these together. And that's the first thing that I'm noticing, a very clairvoyant set, uh, spread, pardon me, because there is so much color. And as I notice, um, there's two goddesses and one angel. A couple of weeks ago we had no angels and we had two goddesses and a god. This week we still have a, a dominance with the feminine energy. Um, and there is an angel that's here. So looking at the first card, the goddess of the sacred path. Well, what I can hear with my clear audience sense is it's almost as if she's humming. I'm hearing her humming, and she's humming a joyful tune as she looks at what she's created. Again, remembering that last week we set a spark into motion, and I'm seeing that spiral path. It's like, <laughs> like she's seeing what it is put into motion that is really exciting her, what she's creating. And there's, there's a quiet joy about it. It's not necessarily... Um, exuberance. It really feels more like a quiet joy, a feeling of satisfaction because what she's put into motion again is now coming into view as she, she looks and gazes down this path. And it's interesting because sometimes when I look at this card, she's not looking at the path. She's actually moving away from it. But in this particular context this week, it looks as if she's moving onto that path. I'm almost with my clairvoyant sense seeing her moving down that path. So it's important, since there seems to be an emphasis on the clairvoyant sense this week, to notice how a card can come alive when you're looking at it, how things can start to move in it, how, how things can start to shift, that perhaps one color feels dominant and then all of a sudden it sort of steps to the back and another color comes forward and becomes more dominant as you um, receive the message and as it evolves for you. Looking at the Goddess of Beauty, it's impossible to look at this card without noticing the butterflies. And my angels, I'm hearing them say, count the butterflies. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine butterflies. And what's interesting to me about that is that nine is such a feminine number. It's three times three. It's a magical number. Um, it's in a Mayan tradition that my husband studies. It's all about the sacred feminine and about the the power that the woman brings to the, 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 the universe. So very much about return of the sacred feminine, such a, a strong theme for us. I know it comes up, it seems, almost every week, but it is a beautiful reminder that it is what's happening right now. A lot of times we look out at the world and we see a lot of pain, a lot of struggle, and it's almost like it's a birth. It is a birth in a way. And remembering that birth is a very difficult process, and yet, the, the product of that birth is such an incredible, wonderful, joyous thing. And we have to keep that in mind that that's what's happening here. 
and to enjoy the journey as much as we can, because it certainly is a magical time to be here on Earth. The last message from this card is to focus on the beauty. As we start to feel any kind of struggle, to remind ourselves to pull back and say, oh, look, look at this beautiful flower. And even noticing, if you're, if you're really feeling challenged, notice the detail. Look inside and look at the rings of, of the petals and the different, I don't know my flower parts very well, but really noticing the details in nature. Because flowers, plants, animals, the sky, the dirt, the stones, the crystals, all of it has so much to teach us. And of course we have each other to teach ourselves, but it, it is about really noticing all aspects of life. The Angel of Psychic Ability, it's interesting. What I'm hearing, and I haven't gotten much of, of, of a, more of a message than this yet, but what I keep hearing over and over again is allowing, allowing, allowing. It's almost when my angels are giving me a message that really needs to be emphasized, it's almost like it's on repeat. And that's what's happening right now, is allowing, allowing, allowing. So now what I say to my angels is, thank you, I've heard that. What else do I need to receive from this card? And they're saying, allowing the beauty. And that by allowing the beauty, we open our senses that much more. It's interesting. They're, they're showing me in my mind's eye a stormy, stormy day. And it's actually a beautiful day here in New England. But if it's a stormy day outside, there's a tendency to say, ew, yuck, hide, you want to go underneath the covers and not come out and really close down. And yet when it's a beautiful day, we tend to expand. We want to be outside. We want to just embrace life. We want to just run and just play and, and really be part of, of the oneness of all that is. And the message here is to really allow the beauty so that even if there's a storm, that you find a way to embrace the beauty. You find a way to really open up and use that energy to help you expand, perhaps in a new way. And the angels are reminding me of a day when our children were very little and there was a storm outside and they put on their rain boots and they put on their slickers and they decided that they wanted to find a pot of gold. And they took the dog and they just went running over towards where there was a rainbow. <laughs> and I don't think they came back for about an hour. And of course they were a bit wet, but thankfully it was a warm day and didn't stop them. The fact that it was raining and in fact it inspired them. And I think this is really an invitation from our angels to allow the struggle, to allow the storms to inspire us and to really help us to create on a deeper level. So tuning in to see if there's any more further messages here. And they say, nope, we're good to go. So that is our angel messages for this week. Thank you for joining me here. I invite you to visit angelsteach.com for a listing of our online classes and other offerings that we have. My blessings of love, joy, and abundance to you.